My Western face would not have been unfamiliar centuries ago on this oasis, lying at the edge of the Taklamakan Desert. This is Dunhuang, in northwest China's Gansu province, one of the ancient world's most significant crossroads connecting east and west. And today, I set foot on the time-worn sands that have borne witness to a lost age of prosperity along the ancient Silk Road, tracing the enlightened relics that it has left behind all these years. Now, shall we begin? Over a period of 1,000 years, from the 4th century to the 14th century, devout worshippers and artists painted about 45,000 square meters of mules in 735 caves carved into the cliffs right beside me. They are home to a vast collection of Buddhist artworks that also includes more than 2,000 colored sculptures. Welcome to the Dunhuang Mogo Grottoes, also known as the Thousand Buddha Grottoes, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that takes you back through time to witness the cultural integration and mutual learning among the diverse civilizations along the ancient Silk Road. But these priceless treasures documenting the religious, cultural and commercial importance of Dunhuang throughout history couldn't have been well preserved without the efforts of Liu Tao and generations of experts just like him. I caught up with him renovating the murals flaking in one of the caves at Moga Grottoes. The restoration of murals takes meticulous processes, such as the dusting, sticking paint coats and injecting agglomerant, being a job that requires full concentration on minute details and a lot of patience. Sticking to the way of the desert, one takes on the Mogo spirit of persistent dedication, bearing the burden of new responsibilities, pioneering and forging ahead. But for Liu Tao, he has a more personal take on it. The boundless desert is anything but dull, stretching hundreds of kilometers into the distance, creating a fresh spectacle before one's eyes. Here I am, appreciating a gorgeous artwork of wind erosion, Yardong Landform at the Dunhuang Yardong National Geopark. It features ancient castle-like structures with many ridges and grooves, and from above the landform, you get a perfect bird view of a massive fleet sailing across the sea of sand. The Gobi Desert has not only witnessed glories from the ancient Silk Road, but also in modern days has seen the rise of a kind of cyberpunk-style technological miracle. It's China's first 100 megawatt class molten salt tower thermal power station with a nickname Super Mirror Power Plant. Now, 
，就像一个大型的这个象的葵。后面这一个就是吸热器，它吸收所有静止、啊，围绕着它聚焦来的一个能量。那这个吸热器顶部能达到多少度啊？呃，这个温度能达到上千度，但是我们通过流体啊，把它控制在五百六十五度。The receiver then heats up the molten salt in the storage tank at the bottom of the solar tower, enabling the power plant to continually generating electricity. 每年的设计发电量是三点九一度电，能减少二氧化碳排放三十五万吨，它能够为我们的双碳战略添砖加瓦。敦煌有充沛的阳光，而且有广袤这个平坦的戈壁，所以它有适合建设光热的这种基础条件。我们希望呢，在这个地方有更多的游客来了解这个电站，然后呢，向“一带一路”上面去推广。The ample sunlight in Dunhuang supports the drive for clean energy, as well as the growth of fruit produce like grapes, apricots, and pears. While the moonlight pours a luminescent vibe onto the city's nightlife, as night encroaches, the aroma of local cuisine starts to permeate the streets of Dunhuang, attracting foodies from near and far. One specialty in particular perfectly reflects locals' down-to-earth yet resilient personalities. It's none other than the yellow noodles with donkey meat. Meet a master chef of the delightful dish, Daniel. Who has been making yellow noodles for over 30 years? Huang Mian is Dunhuang very old old dish. How to make Huang Mian? There is Huang Yan Shui, which is a dish that we have in our house. There is a dish called Peng Hui, which is in the same house. After that, we put the meat and the meat into the Huang Mian. Wow, how sweet! 黄面还有一个这个别名叫丢面，咋叫丢面呢？就是说是你要是师傅的水平不高，你拉的时候拉不到锅呢，就丢人的丢，就丢面，就丢人了，就丢面。To avoid any embarrassment as a noodle making chef, you have to undertake many years of practicing before you can pull the noodles long and thin enough. 标准的起码就是牙签那么粗，长嘛能拉到个三米多。那标准都是自己手杆，手杆就能拉你就拉。这个要有劲儿，还要有有一定的这个功夫这些。干干什么的都是一样的，都要努力的把这个事情做好。我作为一个东方人，做这个驴驴肉和黄面啊，感到一种荣幸，大家吃的满意，各方面都要跟上时代。今年六十岁，六十多岁了，再干个五六年吧。<笑> the desert can be so chilly at night, but the moonlight and the bonfire here has showered me with warmth. My journey in Dunhuang has instantly become timeless for me, as the city, a pivot on the ancient Silk Road. Has had a profound impact on cultural and trade exchanges with the West for thousands of years. History is still being written and seems well within reach. So hop on a plane or a high-speed bullet train to the magnificent land of oases, where locals continue to carry forward the Silk Road spirit, a spirit upon which the city is once again thriving.